Like the new logo or not, the NFL's Washington Commanders have bigger brand problems beyond a new team name. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand hit miss of the week. Just a quick note that we're trying out a new format where we're picking a hit or a miss every week so we can dive a little deeper in the precious minutes that we have together. So this week we've got a miss and it goes to the NFL's newly named Washington Commanders. Now you may think I'm just jumping on the negative bandwagon here, thinking that Commanders sounds like something movie producers might come up with when they don't want to pay the NFL any licensing fees. But no, the miss here really is twofold. But first is simply just the rollout. You had one job, keep it secret. Now, rumors have been swirling around DC for months, yet the night before the big reveal, a local DC news helicopter managed to zoom a camera shot in through the team store window to confirm those rumors. While commanders may not be your cup of tea, it's important to remember that team brands are built over time. When Toronto decided to tap into Jurassic Park Mania to name its new NBA franchise back in the mid 90s, it was widely mocked and rightly so. And that was before Twitter. Fast forward a couple decades and it's a beloved franchise with insanely passionate fans who now actively embrace that purple dino heritage. Here's a thought exercise. Take a look at the list of other NFL teams and think about what the reaction would be if they were revealed as new names today. The New York Jets are called the Jets because they play near an airport? What the hell is a Buffalo Bill? What's a Packer? There are no Lions in Detroit. The actual problem with the Washington Commander's name isn't really a name problem at all, but actually deeper issues with the brand that it's been brought in to represent. Owner Daniel Snyder had long vowed to never change the team's former racist name and only did so under intense pressure from major sponsors and corporate partners like FedEx, Nike, and PepsiCo. This came after years of disingenuous PR campaigns trying to position Redskins as heritage instead of insanely racist. Last July, the NFL itself fined the team $10 million after a year-long investigation into reports of the club's rampant culture of sexual harassment. And on the day after the new team name was announced, the Congressional House Oversight Committee held a roundtable on Capitol Hill on the team's toxic culture and how the team and league handled it. Even the coolest team name you could ever conceive, something so good I can't even imagine what it would be, can't gloss over all that. Go Commies! That's it for this week. Thanks for watching.